G'day, welcome to the Tech Math channel. This video is looking at mixed numbers and improper fractions. So I'll quickly go over the just a recap of what mixed numbers and improper fractions are. So a mixed number is a number which is made up of both a whole number part and a fraction part. So for example, we could have a number like one and three quarters. Okay, it's got this whole number and this fraction part. Hence it's called a mixed number. An improper fraction is a fraction such as the following. Uh, so seven out of four. It has a numerator which is bigger than the denominator. The top number of this fraction is bigger than the bottom number. And these guys are related to one another and you can change between these guys. Uh, quite often if you have a mixed number, it's quite handy to change it across to an improper fraction just when you want to do calculations with it. But then you maybe want to change it back for a greater understanding of what the numbers are actually doing. Okay, so let me give you an example of what I mean by how these guys can be equivalent to, uh, how they are equivalent to one another. Um, so for instance, if I was to draw one and three quarters, I would draw two parts here, but I'm gonna break them up into quarters, okay? So as you can see here, we've got three quarters shaded in here, so we have one and three quarters. So this is representing one and three quarters pretty well, but what you also may be able to notice is this, how many quarters altogether are shaded in? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven quarters. So these are pretty much just a different way of saying exactly the same thing. So what we're going to be looking for is a nice, easy way of changing between these. And this is that. If you want to change from a mixed number here across to an improper fraction, the easiest way is you can look at it and say, okay, we have one group of four here. One group of four, so this is one times four. To this, we're going to add these three parts here. So one group of four, which is this four, plus these three here. One times four, which is four, plus three is equal to seven. We get the seven and we just place it over the same denominator. What about if we were trying to change from the improper fraction across to the mixed number? Well, this is pretty simple. Uh, this line here, this uh, just means divided by, so seven divided by four is one with three left over. So one with, and then you put the three out of the denominator. So let's have a look at that without the pictures here. So say you wanted to put 11 over five as a mixed number at the moment, it's an improper fraction. How would you go about doing that? Once again, this means 11 divided by five. So how many fives are in 11? You could say, okay, well there's two. Then how many remainder? There is a one remainder. That one remainder we put over this denominator here. So this becomes two and one fifth, and that's as easy as it is. Okay, what about we give an example where we go from a mixed number across to an improper fraction. And then I'll give you a few examples to do. So what about we have a look at, say we wanted to change uh, two and one third across to an improper fraction. How would you do that? So the easiest way is you could think about this and you could say, okay, we've got two, we're gonna be dealing with thirds here. I'll draw this up. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the whole bits here and we have seven. Okay, so this is going to be seven thirds, but what we could also think about with this is we could go, okay, two times three, this is two times three here, which is equal to six. So we're going to multiply these guys and we're going to add this final one at the end. So two times three is six plus one, we have seven. And the denominator stays the same. So this becomes seven out of three. All right, what about a few examples for you to do? So change these across to their equivalent form, whether a mixed number or an improper fraction. Uh, what about we do four and two fifths and change it into the improper fraction? What about uh, 16 out of three? And we'll change it into the mixed number. And what about uh, nine and two over three? All right, these are really simple, right? So. How do we do this to start off with? You don't have to draw these out. You're just going to go four times five, because there's four groups of five, plus two. So four times five is 20, plus two is 22. And the number on the bottom is going to be this denominator, 22 over five. 16 divided by three. 16 divided by three is equal to five, and there's one left over. And we just put that over the denominator. Okay, now we're going to change this mixed number here into its improper fraction. So nine times three is equal to 27, plus two is equal to 29. And we just put the denominator on the bottom. 
Anyway, we're going to be using these ideas later on when we're adding fractions and multiplying fractions. So hopefully you got that under your belt. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.